Alright guys, so here is a face that I created. Uh, he's the mascot of create3dcharacters.com uh, and uh, here is a face that I created. Now it plays back rather slowly when I have Camtasia running. I have Camtasia running in the background here, but this plays instantly uh, and in real time uh, without Camtasia playing on this. Is, and this is an iMac, so it's not a very fast computer either. Um, and here we have uh, this. Now the only reason why it's a little bit slow is because we um, have Camtasia running, but we also have uh, some skin shaders and a bit of a lighting setup on this guy. But this is really just for blend shapes. So this rig that I, this animation that I'm scrubbing through here is an animation uh, that is really just a facial test. So it's not um, supposed to be really for animation purposes at all. I just took. Um, this model into Mudbox and painted up a few different blend shapes in order to uh, test out the topology on, on the face. And <coughs> I brought him back and if we select the mesh itself and we come in here to um, the facial blend shape here, we see that we've got a whole list of face shapes and I can just go edit, select node to get rid of that wireframe on the face and we can see that each of these is just testing out different parts of the face to make sure it would go together. And some of it I haven't even, uh, I've sort of linked stuff together that I wouldn't, wouldn't ordinarily and things like that. There's no asymmetry in this face at all. But I just went through and quickly did an animation. You can see all the keyframes down here uh, just to test out how this face works. Um, so a lot of what facial uh, blend shape animation has to do with is your topology. So uh, number one is getting your model right. And if you get your model right, um, blend shapes can really be uh, quite a uh, pleasure to, to, to do. Now, uh, this guy, you can see uh, some people might think that this is a little bit of messy topology around here. But the reason why I've got it like that is so that uh, when we get into the smile shapes, I can really get those sm smile lines happening. So, and you can see that the face looks good. And what I say, is that uh, topology really comes second to um, how good the end result is. And if you're getting a nice shape out of the face, you're getting a nice shape out of the face. Same with if we scrub back here a little bit and uh, come to this when the brows come down. I've also <coughs> got uh, enough topology in this area to get some nice wrinkles happening in the face, as you can see. And uh, even little things too, like uh, when uh, this muscle fires, we've got a little bit of a vein popping out there, so you can sort of see that sort of happening. Now, there's no displacement map on this, no normal maps, uh, no nothing really. It's just simple blend shapes with the Maya topology. I can switch off, um, switch off the smoothing there. You can see the original cage base mesh. There's nothing fancy going on. It's just simple blend shapes. So if you do uh, your topology right uh, and you get everything happening, you can sort of see that. Uh, you can do some quite nice stuff. So the only other thing that I did is I did just lazily do a wrap deformer for the, the brows. So they just follow the geometry of the face, but that's pretty um, a lazy way of doing things. I'd probably go in and do a little bit more control with that as well. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna, in this uh, class, talk about blend shapes, talk about how I create them in this sort of a manner. Uh, some of the things that I go through, but we'll go through it on a very simplistic basis. So uh, let's get started on that and uh, sh show you how basic blend shapes work.